How's it going my fellow Houdini developers? I want to share with you a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to compile your first HDK project. By the end of the video, you will have converted some sample source code into new custom nodes that you can access inside Houdini. So the first step is to open Google and search for Houdini HDK. That will bring you to the HDK documentation that ZF has provided. So we'll be going through some of the pages inside this documentation. You can see the location of that page on the left column. Um, the custom nodes that we will be creating are Houdini plugins. So on Windows, the format of these plugin files are .dll, which stands for Dynamic Link Library. On runtime, Houdini will be searching through these default directories for these plugin files. One of the typical location will be under your Documents Houdini, here Documents Houdini in the DSO folder. Now. Um, if you want to use a custom directory to store your DLL file, you can do that by setting the Houdini DSL path environment variable. There are two ways to set this environment variable. One is to go to the system environment, environment variable and uh, click on this and set it like that so. So you can click on new and say Houdini DSL path and navigate to, in this case, I'll just navigate to one of the default ones, documents, put in 18, DSL. One thing I want to point out is that you can use semicolon and end to tell Houdini to search this custom directory first, then search the default directories. Okay. The second way to set this variable is by Houdini.emv file here. So I have it commented out here, but uh, you can just remove that. And that will be it. This refers to documents, essentially. Now, once you have it set, you can verify that by going to the Houdini command line tools. This page, um, environment variables, documentation will tell you the options of what you can do here so here what we can just type um, h custom sorry h config and that will show you the Houdini DSL path has been set okay now the third step is to download Visual Studio now you need to download the version of the compiler and the two sets that matches the version that was used to build the Houdini that you have and here is telling you to find the suffix of VC141 so where do you see that is when you go to the download page and click on download when the pop-up window shows up the EXC file has the suffix VC141 that tells you that is the version of the VC2 that you should be looking for now I have my Visual Studio uh, 2017 downloaded already and once you have yours downloaded you can go to tools get tools and features and make sure you have this checked the desktop development with C++ once that is installed you will see that under here we have the latest v1412 available checked Another way you can see this option is under the individual components. If you scroll down, you will see that it's checked here. Step six is to set the msvc directory environment variable. That tells the system where the um, Microsoft Visual C++ distribution is located. Um, we will go back to the system environment variable here and uh, I already have it set so it's pointing to program files 86 Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 community VC tools MSVC and this stream of number here that is the directory you want, want it to set it to 
Okay, now we have the preparation down. Now we go to step seven. We'll start to uh, grab some example files that we want. And let's grab all these and just paste them into a, a custom directory I have over here under a folder. Do this for the moment. Okay, so flatten. Now Houdini has three options to um, to compile your code. So either with H custom make files or CMake. So we'll be going through H custom and CMake. Make files is very complicated and advanced, and for a lot of use cases, uh, the H custom and the CMake will be suffice. So let's go to the command line too again. What we have to do now is to navigate to the location where we uh, just pasted our sample code. Right. So let's have it here. Now once we're in that directory, we can refer to the documentation here. And all this is just doing is copying the files and essentially this is the important part. Just type the H custom custom and we need to type the uh, this name of the .c file which is this one. So button .c. Once this is done we will be able to find our soap flatten DLL here. Uh, you will also see these files. They are um, development files. The main file that Houdini will be looking for to load to to load the custom plugins will be the DLL files. Okay. Um, there are also support files, which are like. Um, the help cards or the operator items, so images or text. Uh, here it tells you where to put them, so I'll just show you here. So under config items, I have copied the support file here to this location. And for the help, it's under help nodes, sop over here the text and the image okay for the H custom there are also other build to options over here the explanation you can you can check them out on this page what we just did now is just using the H custom here and that's that's okay all right, now let's open Houdini and test if our uh, nodes have been uh, installed correctly. And in the custom section, you can see Flatten has been added. Let me just demonstrate it working. There you go. Okay. Now in the documentation, it tells us when to use H custom and when not to use it. So it has some limitation, even though it's very convenient that it can only compile a single C++ source file. So if say we want to compile um, from multiple source files, one of the easier way is to use a CMake, which is a third-party build tool. And um, let's copy another example. Over here, you see this example contains this file, CMake list. It has um, some instructions we'll visit in a bit. Now, before we do that, let's download CMake first. So, if you 
Google CMake and go to the download. Depending on your system, what I did is I chose this one. And I already have it here. So you can just install it. So during the installation, since I already have it, um, I will not go through the process again. But one of the questions will pop up in the installation process is that uh, whether you wanted to add the CMake path variable to your system, uh, you should check that. Uh, what that would do is it will add a path variable here that points to CMake. So this is what that process would do. Make sure you check that. Okay, now um, the next thing we need to do is to check if this CMake prefetch path variable has been correctly set. Uh, this path needs to be correct for the fan package uh, to succeed. So the fan package is something you can see here inside the CMake list right here. Okay, now there are several ways to set this, specify this path, and one of the way is to specify it directly inside the CMake list file, which is this line. So the HFS environment variable uh, is a unique Houdini environment variable which points to the Houdini installation directory here. And you'll see toolkit, CMake, it points to this location. Okay, so because we already have it here, um, it should work. If if you don't have that inside your CMIT list file, you can explore some of the other options to see to to set this path. Now, once we have this copied, we can go back to command line and navigate to that folder. Copy to points. Okay. So let's open up the instructions. How we do this? Here we go, running CMake. So you can use the make directory command to make a temp directory under it. It says build, and you can see that a build folder has been created. Now we're going inside it. Now we'll run the CMake commands. So to start with, CMake dot dot space. Then we can specify the generator for the build tool. So it's documented here. What you need to do is dash G, and the generator we'll be using is Visual Studio. Fifteen in this case. One thing I want to point out, this is from earlier that I think I forgot to mention, is that this version number does not need to necessarily match this number. If you go to your Visual Studio, you can check. Um, it says here 15.9, even though on the documentation it's asking for 15.85. Uh, what's important here is the uh, the version of the build tools, uh, the, the compiler tools, not the version of your IDE. Okay. So. Okay. Success. Now inside the build, have all these files created, including um, Visual Studio solution file. So if you open this up, now you can build your project from here. 
it also links to all the necessary source files you will be uh, building from so right click on this go to properties one thing you need to do first is under the C++, C, uh, C++ section go to the command line and add uh, forward slash tp so what this will do is telling uh, according to the documentation here it will tell um, the compiler that to treat to, to treat all the files um, as C++ files what the TP does now we can do the build And we're done. If it's not successful, it will tell you what the error is here. Now, if we go back to um, hidden 18 DSO, we see that copy two points is added here. Now, let's just verify it inside Houdini. Go to custom. Copy to points. Geometry points. There we go. That's the end of the video. I hope my explanation was clear. If there's any question, please leave it in the comments. Thank you.